All in all though, my city's looking pretty good so far. I'm really happy with how things have come up. I've got some future tech, I've got the academy and a mega tower. As soon as I can afford it as well, I'll put an elite mega tower over here. We'll put some fancy casinos along the coast and, uh, and build our airport to get some more traffic into it. And, uh, and what else are we going to do? Hmm. I think that's pretty much a good plan. We'll put some big tourist attractions here, like maybe Big Ben or the Eiffel Tower or something really cool that will pull in all of all of the cool all of the cool tourists. I'll leave this area up here for utilities and things, and that should be plenty of space. And I oh, what's this main attraction? Have 300 low wealth tourists leave your city satisfied? Nice. I guess that puts us one step closer to earning our minimum for the day to get the gambling HQ because that is our prime goal. It's going to be a gambling tourist city, so we need a gambling HQ. Right, we're chugging along at cheetah speed here, and everything seems to be doing okay. We've got a water problem. Okay, what's this? Buildings need water. Well, okay, let's put down a hydro pumping station somewhere. Now, these things are fancy. And they bring up the um, the technology in an area. So what I'll do is I'll plonk it over here. And uh, what this should do is bring up the um, the future. Yeah, oh yeah. Look at these futuristic pods. Oh wow! In the future, people don't live in trailers. They live in like these tiny little I don't know capsules. This city has lots of fun things to do. Yeah, it does. Oh, with a fun capital of the world. We've got parks everywhere and loads of casinos for you to go and waste all of your money. Now, what's this? This town is kind of boring. Just like, you'll spend your money back home? What the hell? Oh, no, what we need is some tourist attractions. We've got some gambling dens, but we don't have any tourist attractions. So we definitely need some tourist attractions to bring in the customers. Okay, what are we going to put and where? Well, what can we afford? We've only got 50 grand. And that's not that much. Let's take a look at what we got in the city specs menu. What's this guy saying? Oh, we can put down a gambling HQ. We can afford it. Oh, yes. Wow. We've earned 52,000 in a day from gambling. Holy crap. Well, where is this bad boy going to go? Well, I'm going to put it up here by the, by the utility zone, I think. Looks perfect to me. Perfect size. Although, wait. You have to build extensions onto this thing, so I might need a bit more space. So maybe down here is a good option. Hmm. Nope, you know what? I'm going to put it right here next... No, I need this area free for the, um... For more... For more tourist attractions and, um... I don't know. Where am I going to put this gambling HQ? Why is this so hard to decide? I just don't know. I might as well put it here. Why not? As good a place as any. Let's pull the trigger. Down it goes. Sweet. Now let's edit this. Now what else can I add to this thing? A gambling HQ sign. Oh yeah, where are we going to put this? Probably over the... Oh no, I can't put it down anywhere over there because it'll just trample the buildings. But if I put it there... Oh yeah, it looks good. Oh yeah. Casino headquarters. Now look at the detail that's gone into this building. It's really impressive actually. Just how much effort they put into each and every single building. Okay, so we've got a gambling HQ guys. It's mission success. Now what's the next step? Earn enough money, I think, to get an elite mega tower in so that we can start getting more dudes into our academy. Oh, whoa, look at this skyscraper. This is amazing. The 1%. These are great. Oh, man, this is like the elite. Oh, what's this? Let us make the Eiffel Tower. We'll be such a romantic city where lovers can come to uh, uh, fall in love. Okay, why not? Let's do that. Sure. The Eiffel Tower. I can't afford the Eiffel Tower. What the hell am I saying? The Eiffel Tower is like 500,000 simoleons. Uh-oh. Trouble at the academy. Module available and they're not researching anything. Costs so much to research stuff though. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to wait with the research until I can afford it. Because at the moment I've got bigger fish to fry and more money to spend on the tourism. I don't, I, I don't want to waste money on stuff that isn't going to generate money for me yet. Right, so everything's ticking away pretty good. We've got enough water, enough power enough services around our city. Everything seems to be going okay. Now let's take a look on the tourism tab, the culture tab, to see what kind of cool buildings we could put down to bring in some um, some tourists. Medium wealth tourists, high wealth tourists. Yeah, see, the Eiffel Tower is 550 grand. That's crazy. Brandenburg Gate, now that's really cool. 
Now, one of the things that um, the cultural city packs do is, if I put down an Eiffel Tower, it will make all of my buildings look kind of French. Now, that was true for SimCity, the main game, but I have a feeling that there aren't any futuristic French buildings. So that probably won't work so well for us in Cities of Tomorrow. The same also applies, though, to the Bradenburg Gate, I think. Makes your houses look German, I think. And Big Ben definitely makes your houses look English. Oh, now, this is crazy. This 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 cathedral right here is so huge. Oh, yeah, look at this thing. Now, putting this down, wouldn't this be fantastic? And it's only 50k, which is crazy. Oh, I really want one of these in my town. But I have to be careful. I have to plan out carefully where I'm going to put this thing. And honestly, I don't think I've got really the space. I think that's probably why it's so cheap, because it's just so big. And the problem is, when something's really big, it's just really awkward to kind of make it fit. Like, you compare that to the Dutch windmill, which is tiny, I can put this down, and it will probably pretty much have the same effect. Now, where am I going to put a tourist attraction? I should probably put something near these gambling houses. And I'm thinking, oh, I like the arch. That's a really cool, really cool tourist attraction. So what do you think, guys? Plonk this right here? Should we do it? Are we going to do it? Are we going to pull the trigger on this thing? I don't know. Are we going to? Are we going to? No, I'll tell you what. We've got all the low and medium wealth guys going over here. But what we need is some cool casinos. Now we've got the gambling HQ. We can put down one of these awesome, crazy sci-fi or sleek or Roman or elegant casinos. Oh, well, these are expensive, but so worth it. I want a sci-fi casino on the beachfront. Oh, yeah. In fact, what I'll do is I'm going to upgrade these roads before I forget. Uh-oh, sewage problems. What kind of sewage problems, though? I don't get it. I wonder if we've got enough control net to uh, activate the sewage sanitizer. Oh, wow, this turns sewage into water. Oh, that's really cool. But I wonder if we turn off this one, if it's got enough power to do all of the city's um, sewage. Probably not, because it's not got enough control net, I don't think. Can I edit it? Is there anything I can add to it? Sanitizer tank. Oh, but that's, even that's got control net usage, so I don't know. Hmm. 63 kilo gallons an hour? I don't know how much sewage is being pumped out, though. At the moment, it's got a 20 kilogal excess. But how much does the other sewage plant go through? Let's go and take a look. Oh, no, this is this is, uh, this is is at excess. Sewage pipe at maximum rate, and it's going through 10 an hour. What I can do is I might as well just turn this off, then, because this is chucking stuff out into the, into the town, and that's terrible. And this thing looks like it can manage with the excess... Oh, yeah, perfect. Right, so now I can just convert all this sewage back into water. And I think what this will actually do is up my water output as well. Oh, it is. Uh-oh, now watch out. We're going to get close to that limit pretty soon. Oh, whoa, we're getting way too close to that limit. This is crazy. No, actually, this is okay. We're about stable. But if things get too much, if things get too busier, we might have some serious problems here. But for the time being... This is a good, a good kind of switch over. And what that means is we can stop ground polluting now up here over by the, the industry over here. Now, I'm not going to destroy this yet because I th that, that's probably a bad thing. I think that makes the land even more dirty. But for the time being, I'll just leave things as they are. Right, so what else? Where are we and where are, what are we going to do with our city now? We're going to upgrade the roads, of course. Yeah, I forgot about that. Let's see, road upgrade. Now, these coastal roads are going to look so cool. I might as well make them high density because I've got the cash to splash. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoa. Fight 158,000 simoleons. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. High density. Oh, that's the stuff. Now, how are these houses over here doing? Because they haven't grown very much. That might be because they're too packed in. And it might be because they just don't enjoy themselves over here. So, I don't know. Just make all these high density because why not? It's something that you should do for all of your all of your um, roads eventually, anyway. Because if it's got a residential, if it's got a zone connected to the road, it's going to want to upgrade its density at some point. If you're doing a good job, but also it makes the traffic easier as well. Like it lightens the traffic load, upgrading the density of a street. Okay, there we go. What about this street here? Whoa, what? that's only medium density? What the hell? How have I missed so many of these? That's crazy. In fact, these roads down here are probably holding people back in a big way. 
So let's just up the density on these avenues as well. Yeah, now these buildings are high density and these guys can finally upgrade. Oh yeah, and I think they're doing it. I think this 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 building here is actually becoming a high density residential. Ah, oh, this is good. And my population is probably rising because of it. Let's, let's watch this go up, see what it looks like in the end. Oh, almost there. Oh man, this thing's getting high. This is a really tall building. Holy crap, this thing's going to be huge. Highly paid researchers staff the academy with 200 high wealth workers. Oh, nice. Whoa, look at this tower. Oh, this is a beautiful looking city. Oh, I'm proud to be able to call this Jin City. Oh, this is amazing. Whoops, why am I putting streetcar avenues down? I don't know. But why not, right? Streetcars are cool. I like streetcars. Do you like streetcars? I love them. Yeah. And we've got the cash to splash for sure. So let's do it. Oh, yeah, the whole place is looking amazing now. Now, what making this avenue over here into a streetcar avenue does is it lets us designate this whole strip as pretty much just tourist specialization. And what that lets us do is just pipe tourists all the way down the middle of the street via streetcars, which, which alleviates a lot of the traffic problems in the city. Okay, there we go. And also, why not upgrade your roads? You know, it's not harming anybody. Now, I wish I hadn't snaked around with these roads. Every time I look down here, I think my screen's bugging out and the kind of screen's a bit warped. But no, I just got silly with the roads. <laughs> Never mind, it's all good. I should upgrade the density, though, so that people can actually upgrade their houses. There we go. And perfect. Everything's good to go now. All my roads are upgraded. I wish there was a way to see road density so you can specifically target roads that aren't as dense as you want them to be. Like that one, for instance. But it looks like I've got all the roads I've needed to. There we go. Maybe this one too. And that one. Yeah, and the whole area is coming up and looking pretty good. Right, okay, time to take stock and work out where we are with our city. Now, I said I was going to put down a sci-fi casino down here on the coast. But what I need for sci-fi casinos is transport to be able to get here so that people can actually come and visit these places. So what I need to do is I'll put an airport over here by the, by the academy. I'll put probably a theme park in the corner and some sci-fi casinos along the bottom. And here, next to the academy up here, I will put a big major tourist attraction. Like maybe Big Ben or the Eiffel Tower or something huge and popular. Oh man, look at the way my city lights up at night as well. This is a beautiful thing. This is so, so beautiful. Now, I think I've got enough to put down a high-tech and elite mega tower. What I'll probably do is I'll put the elite mega tower right here next to the other mega tower. And that should be pretty good. But for the time being, I think we're going to call it for SimCity Cities of Tomorrow. So, going into the new year, prepare for some more tourist action at Shin City when we try and build up this region and get more tourists and more casinos into our swanky coastal region. But until next time, guys, take care.